Lesson 6, Curses A cursor is a programmatic construct in TSQL. It represents a result set of a query that you can iterate through one row at a time, possibly in a predetermined order. Programmers who are used to procedural programming but are not yet experienced with SQL tend to use cursors a lot because using cursors feels like an extension of what they already know. However, you should be aware of the implications of using cursors. Using cursors is not in accord with the relational model, which deals with whole sets, as opposed to dealing with individual rows. By using cursors, you pretty much go against the model. Also, in terms of the work done by the Microsoft SQL Server Engine, the processing of each cursor row incurs an overhead cost that is not applicable when processing set-based code queries. For these reasons, it is generally recommended to avoid using cursors for the most part. Still, even after you become well versed in TSQL and gain knowledge and experience in query tuning, you realize that a certain minority of problems are best solved with Declare cursor defines the attributes of a transact SQL server cursor, such as its scrolling behavior and the query used to build the result set on which the cursor operates. The open statement populates the result set, and fetch returns a row from the result set. The close statement releases the current result set associated with the cursor, the deallocate statement releases the resources used by the cursor. At fetch status returns the status of the last cursor fetch statement issued against any cursor currently opened by the connection. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com